Welcome to Electro Online. So here we have another JE Advanced question, this time about optics. So let's try some optics problems in the JE Advanced test. So here we have an interesting problem that deals with refraction with Snell's law. Let's read the problem together. A monochromatic light, meaning of the same wavelength, is traveling in a medium with refractive index n equals 1.6. So it's right here. It enters a stack of glass layers from the bottom side at an angle of 30 degrees. So that's the initial angle of entry right there. And the layer interfaces are all parallel. The refractive indices decreases by delta n equals 0.1 for every layer. When the ray reaches the empt interface, it becomes parallel to the plates. M equals question mark. In other words, how many layers are required until the light finally becomes parallel to the plate surfaces. So you can see that every time we go to a, a smaller and smaller smaller index of refraction, when the index of refraction decreases, the angle moves away from the normal, so that means that the ray is going to continue to bend and bend and bend until eventually it's parallel to the plates. So how many layers does that require? Notice again that each layer, the index of refraction decreases by 0.1 as we go through each of the layers. All right, this is not necessarily a realistic problem. It's just a problem that we need to solve. So how do we go about doing that? Well, let's start with the first interface to see if we can see a pattern. At first you think, oh, wow, I'm going to sit here for 10, 15 minutes doing this. Actually, it shouldn't take that long once you begin to see the pattern. So doing the first interface, we get n sub naught times the sine of theta sub naught equals n sub 1 times the sine of theta sub 1. So theta sub 1 is the angle of refraction after it crosses the first boundary. So we can solve for theta sub 1. We can say that theta sub 1 is equal to the inverse sine of inverse sine of uh, n sub naught divided by n sub 1 times the sine of 30 degrees. When we plug in some numbers, we get theta sub 1 is equal to the inverse sine of n sub 0, which is 1.6, divided by n sub 1, which is 1.5, times the sine of 30, which is 1 over 2. So, essentially, we're looking for an angle, or we got an angle, where the inverse sine, arc sine, is 1.6 divided by 1.5 times 2. We'll just, we'll just leave it in that format. Let's do the next boundary. So now we have uh, n sub 2, no, n sub, sorry, I'll go n sub 1, times the sine of theta 1, which is this angle right here, is equal to n sub 2 sine of theta sub 2. So we can see that theta sub 2 is equal to the inverse sine, inverse sine, there should be a dot right there, inverse sine, of, uh, let's see, here we have n sub 1 divided by n sub 2 times the sine of theta sub 1. Now, if the inverse sine is equal to that, then the sine of that is simply equal to the quantity in there. So what happens then is that theta sub 2 is equal to the sine, inverse sine of n sub 1, which is 1.5 divided by n sub 2, which is 1.4, times the sine of this angle, when the angle, when we get the inverse sine equals to that, that would be equal to 1.6 over 1.5, times 1 over 2. So these are all multiplied together. So I'll just leave it like that. So we can see that these are all multiplied together. And I'm beginning to see the pattern. That's what I was hoping for. Let's do one more. So now we have n2 sine of theta sub 2, which is right here, is equal to n3 sine of theta sub 3. And if we then solve for theta sub 3, that is equal to the inverse sine of, well, we have n sub 2 over n sub 3 times the sine of theta sub 2, which, of course, can be gotten from here. So this is equal to the inverse sine of n2 over n3. That would be 1.4 over 1.5 multiplied by all this, which is times 1.5. Let's see here, am I doing this right? What's n2? n2 is 1.4. Oh, no, this is 1.3. Something wasn't looking right, so I realized that n3 is 1.3. And then here, I have this to copy down. So 1.5 over 1.4, 1.6 over 1.5, times 1 half. 
And then you can see that this is simply going to continue. And as we continue, notice that the 1.4 cancels out, the 1.5 cancels out. And as we continue this on for a long time, we're going to end up with some sort of fraction. At what point will it be parallel? It will be parallel when the quantity in here is equal to 1 because the inverse sine of 1 is equal to 90 degrees, right? So the inverse sine of 1 is equal to 90 degrees, which means that if I end up with this divided by this equal to 2 times a half gives this whole quantity inside the parentheses equal to 1. So let's see what this becomes now. So we're looking for the sine, the inverse sine, the inverse sine of, and working our way backwards, so we had 1 half, then we had 1.6 divided by 1.5, 1.5 divided by 1.4, 1.4 divided by 1.3, and we have to continue doing that, leave a little more room, 1.3 divided by 1.2, 1.2 uh, 1.2 divided by 1.1, 1.1 divided by 1.0, 0, uh, that would be 1.0, 1.0 divided by 0 0.9, and 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.8. Now I can stop, because notice the 0.9s cancel out, the 1.0, the 1.1, the 1.2, the 1.3, the 1.4, the 1.5, and I'm left with the inverse sine of 1.6 divided by 0 0.8, which is equal to 2, times 1 over 2, which is equal to the inverse sine of 1. And that's when I get an angle of 90 degrees. So how many layers do I have? The first boundary is the first layer. So that's m equals 1, m equals 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So when m equals 8, I end up with an angle of 90 degrees. That's the angle theta is equal to 90 degrees when m is equal to 8, and that happens to be the correct answer for that problem. So you can see that once you see the pattern, and after you probably get to this point, you could begin to see the pattern. You don't have to do it one more time. You could just keep doing that until you end up with 1.6 over 0 0.8 times 1 half gives you 1. The inverse sine of 1 is 90 degrees. The ray is now parallel, and then how many of these do you need to go from 1.6 to 0 0.8? m is equal to 8 and you're done with the problem. So if you see it quickly, you can get it done in just a few minutes. If you don't see it, you might sit there for a long time figuring out what in the world you need to do. But that is how it's done. <laughs> Crazy problem, huh? <clears throat>